Although the Type 22 class, also known as the Broadsword class, had a relatively short career in the Royal Navy, it made its mark on British naval history. These surface combatants evolved in three batches based on real combat experiences. Today we're investigating the Type 22 class, one of Her Majesty's legendary frigates. When we think about the Royal Navy's last 50 years, the Type 22 class is not as iconic as the Leander class frigates or the Sheffield class destroyers. Due to the unfortunate timing of their commissioning, these surface combatants of this class had a relatively short career in Her Majesty's service. The story of the Type 22 class dates back to the mid-1960s. After the 1964 general election in the UK, the new Labour government reduced the defence budget. Two years later, it cancelled the CVA-01 program. So, at the end of the 1970s, the Royal Navy would not operate a fleet carrier. In the 1980s, the UK would have only small aircraft carriers defined as aviation-capable anti-submarine warfare cruisers at that time. So the fleet had to be reorganized. According to the new plan, the Type 42-class destroyers and the Type 22-class frigates would replace the County and Leander classes respectively. In the 1970s, many naval experts considered naval guns obsolete due to the advancements in missile technology. In line with the spirit of the time, British naval engineers intended to design a missile frigate without a main gun. The 114mm Mark VI naval guns and 40mm L60 air defense guns of the many previous Leander class vessels had already been replaced by the MM38 Exocet anti-ship or Ikara anti-submarine missiles and the Seacat air defense missiles. The Type 22 class was the first to be designed in the UK from the beginning without a large caliber gun turret. The new surface combatant would be larger than the existing frigates, allowing it to accommodate more electronics and to have good sea keeping capability. At that time, many air forces still used conventional bombs for anti surface warfare. Also, the Soviet anti ship missiles of the time were generally as large as jet fighters. In the reorganized Royal Navy, the Sea Harriers and the Type 42 class destroyers would provide area air defense. A close range air defense system would be sufficient for an anti submarine warfare frigate. Thus, the Type 22 class would carry Sea Wolf missiles with a 5 km range. Initially, the Brits evaluated executing a joint program with the Dutch. However, the Netherlands, which required a 112 meter frigate that could fit into the dry dock at Den Helder, did not wish to use the Sea Wolf missile either. Thus, the UK continued to work alone. Still, British engineers worked on reducing the length of the Type 22 class. The four machinery rooms were laid out in tandem and positioned as far aft as possible to reduce shaft length. However, even though the design phase of the new frigate was completed, the Royal Navy did not order it immediately due to the vessel's high cost. Initially, on paper, the Type 22 class was three times more expensive than the Type 12 class and one and a half times more than the Type 21 class. The UK ordered the first four vessels between 1974 and 1977. Yet, when the construction phase began, the price of the frigate jumped to more than double. A Type 22 class frigate was even more expensive than a Type 42 class destroyer. The first ship of the class, HMS Broadsword, was laid down on February 7, 1975, launched on May 12, 1976, and commissioned on May 4, 1979. She was a Batch 1 variant. Three other frigates of this version joined the fleet between 1980 and 1982. All previous Type 21 class frigates had names that began with the letter A. For this reason, the Type 22 Batch 1s were given the names starting with the letter B. The hull is made of all welded mild steel, while the superstructure is mainly steel, however some aluminum is also used. There is easy access to the machinery rooms for maintenance and equipment replacement. The Type 22 class was primarily designed to hunt Soviet nuclear submarines in rough sea conditions. It can maintain a speed of 24 knots in sea state 5, which is also the maximum effective sonar speed of the frigate. Yet, it's known that at this speed and in poor weather conditions, the effectiveness of the hull sonar reduces dramatically. The British Type 22 Batch 1 class frigates had two sextuple Sea Wolf air defense missile launchers with 60 reloads, four Exocet MM38 anti-ship missiles, 
and two 324mm triple torpedo tubes. During the service period, the Royal Navy replaced the 40mm L60 guns with the 30mm DS-30Bs and added two 20mm GAM B01 guns to the ships. Brazil bought these four frigates in 1994. Initially, the Brazilian Navy intended to replace the forward Exocet launcher with a single 57mm SAK Mark II gun. However, it later abandoned this plan and the ships were equipped with the MM-40 Exocet missiles. In addition, two 40mm Bufosh L-70 guns replaced the DS-30Bs. The Type 22 Batch 1s have a 20.5 meter long and 14.8 meter wide helipad. As the Royal Navy did before, the Brazilian Navy deploys the Lynx helicopters onto the Type 22 class. Only BNS Rechmecke, the former HMS Battleaxe, is still operational, while the others have been decommissioned. The complement of the Type 22 Batch 1 class is 273 people. The ship has a length of 131.2 meters a beam of 14.8 meters and a draft of 6 meters. Its standard and fully loaded displacements are 3,556 and 4,000 tons respectively. The combined gas or gas propulsion system comprises two 25,000 horsepower Rolls-Royce Olympus TM3B and two 4,950 horsepower Rolls-Royce Tyne RM1C gas turbines. Its top speed is 30 knots. The Type 22 Batch 1 class has a range of 4,500 nautical miles, in other words, 8,334 kilometers. The first ship of the Type 22 Batch 2 class was HMS Boxer, which was laid down on November 1, 1979, launched on June 17, 1981, and commissioned on December 22, 1983. Initially, all frigates in this batch were to be named starting with the letter B. However, the Royal Navy abandoned this naming model after the Falklands War. It ordered two Type 22 Batch 2s as replacement ships for the lost destroyers HMS Sheffield and HMS Coventry and assigned their names to the new frigates. The Type 22 Batch 2 class was longer than the previous variant, providing more space for new electronic warfare systems, a larger operation room and the Type 2031Z towed sonar. Also, these six frigates had sharply raked stems. Besides, the new CACS-1 computer-assisted command system replaced the CAAIS of the Type 22 Batch 1 class. The larger hull also improved the seakeeping. The first two vessels had the same propulsion system as the Type 22 Batch 1 class. The last four frigates were fitted with two 18,725 horsepower Rolls-Royce Marine Spey SM-1A and two 4,850 horsepower Rolls-Royce Tyne RM-3C cruise gas turbines in Koga configuration. They were also 2.04 meters longer to provide a larger hangar and a longer helipad. Therefore, the last four Type 22 Batch 2 class vessels could accommodate a Sea King or EH-101 Merlin helicopter. These ships had the same armament as the Type 22 Batch 1 class in Royal Navy service. When the UK decommissioned them, one was scrapped, two were sunk as targets and the others were sold to Chile and Romania. HMS Sheffield is now serving in the Chilean Navy as CS Almirante Williams. She has one 76mm and two 20mm early con guns, eight RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles, Bach-1 air defense missile launchers and two 324mm triple torpedo tubes. As the flagship of the Chilean Navy, CS Almirante Williams operates an AS-532 SC Cougar helicopter. Romania bought HMS London and HMS Coventry in 2003. The Romanian Navy has named them Regina Maria and Regella Ferdinand respectively. These frigates, which only have the 76mm gun and torpedo tubes as armaments, can operate an IAR-330 naval helicopter. The complement Beam, speed and range of the Batch 2s are the same as those of the Type 22 Batch 1 class. The first two Type 22 Batch 2 class frigates have a length of 146.06 meters and a draught of 6.4 meters. The last four ships are 148.1 meters long. Their standard and fully loaded displacements are 4100 and 4800 tons respectively. After the 1982 Falklands War, the Royal Navy staff had to acknowledge the importance of naval guns. Due to the changes in the tactical thought, the UK ordered a new variant of the Type 22 class, the Batch 3. 
The first ship of this batch, HMS Cornwall, was laid down on September 19, 1983, launched on October 14, 1985, and commissioned on April 23, 1988. They had the same propulsion system as the last four batch 2s. All frigates of this batch were given names starting with the letter C. They were the largest Type 22 class variant. Additionally, the batch 3s have retained the title the largest frigates built for the Royal Navy until the Type 26 class. Nevertheless, the most significant change was the armament. They didn't possess the 30mm DS-30B and 20mm GAM BO-1 guns. Furthermore, one 114mm Mark 8 naval gun replaced the forward Exocet MM-38 launchers. The Bash 3s were also fitted with 8 RGM-84 anti-ship missiles and one 30mm 7-barrel goalkeeper close-in weapon system. These ships, which retained the Seawolf missiles, were general-purpose frigates rather than anti-submarine warfare ones. They had facilities for a flag officer and his staff. All Bash 3 frigates were decommissioned in 2011. The speed and range of the Bash 3s were the same as those of the Bash 1s and Bash 2s. The complement of the Type 22 Bash 3 class frigate was 250 people. The ship had a length of 148.1 meters, a beam of 14.8 meters and a drought of 6.4 meters. Its standard and fully loaded displacements were 4,200 and 4,900 tons, respectively. During the 1982 Falklands War, HMS Broadsword shut down one dagger and shared the kill of an A4C Skyhawk. She was tasked with providing close air defense for HMS Coventry. However, due to a technical malfunction in her Seawolf missile system, the ship could not protect HMS Coventry and two Argentine Skyhawks sank the destroyer. Two helicopters that took off from HMS Brilliant were involved in attacking the Argentine submarine ARA Santa Fe. This frigate also shut down three A4 Skyhawks. The Lynx helicopter from HMS Brazen carried out attacks on the Iraqi fast patrol boats during the 1991 Gulf War. Also, HMS London was the flagship of the Royal Navy's task force during the war. During the 2002 Iraq War, HMS Chatham became the first British warship to fire her guns in anger since the Falklands War. During the 2011 military intervention in Libya, HMS Cumberland evacuated 454 people from Libya and then joined the blockade against this country. The Type 22 class survived the war, but not the peace. After the first Cold War, the Soviet submarine threat disappeared. So the Royal Navy no longer needed a dedicated anti-submarine warfare frigate. All Batch 1s and Batch 2s were decommissioned soon afterwards. The general purpose Batch 3s continued their duties for a while. However, the UK began to sell even the newer Type 23 class frigates. So, it didn't take long for the Royal Navy to dispose all of the Type 22 Batch 3s. If we were to speculate, we could say that if the First Cold War had continued, the Type 22 class would have been modernized and served Her Majesty for many more years. Yet, they were one of the last examples of the previous generation. These frigates could not have competed with the new stealth surface combatant featuring the vertical launching system. Still, we admit that the Type 22 class fought successfully and undoubtedly, it is a legend. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.